Is the Shroud of Turin authentic? The Shroud of Turin is a shroud that has been historically attributed as the burial cloth of Jesus Christ, but it acquired great skepticism during the 20th century. Most scholars accept the following facts about the Shroud of Turin. The Shroud contains photographic negativity. The Shroud contains a high resolution of body images and bloodstains. The Shroud has intense uniformity of color on fibrils. The Shroud has dense uniformity of frontal and dorsal maximum optical density. The Shroud has substance uniformity operating on different materials. The Shroud has tri-dimensional information. The Shroud has continuous full-length frontal and dorsal images. There is an absence of body side and top of head images. There are vertically mapped wrapping distortions. There are non-contact zones that were encoded through empty space. There is an absence of capillary flow. There is non-saturation. There is a presence of body image superficiality. Anatomical accuracies are present, such as scourge marks. There is an absence of decomposition. There is a presence of blood stain and body fluid. The shroud is directionless, which means there is an absence of brush strokes. Fluorescence is absent on the shroud under ultraviolet illumination. Yellow oxidation is present on the shroud, which means paint is absent. There is an absence of layering on the shroud. There is an absence of dry powder on the shroud. There is an absence of spices, oils, or biochemicals. There is an absence of photosensitizers or silver. The hypotheses that have attempted to explain the shroud of the centuries are the following. The painting hypothesis. There are several facts this hypothesis cannot account for. Therefore, this hypothesis is inadequate. For more information, pause the video and consult the list to the left. The powder rubbing or dusting hypothesis. There are several facts this hypothesis cannot account for. Therefore, this hypothesis is inadequate. The emulsion hypothesis. There are several facts this hypothesis cannot account for. Therefore, this hypothesis is inadequate. The boiled water or oil hypothesis. There are several facts this hypothesis cannot account for. Therefore, this hypothesis is inadequate. The engraved lines technique hypothesis. There are several facts this hypothesis cannot account for. Therefore, this hypothesis is inadequate. The proto photograph hypothesis. There are several facts this hypothesis cannot account for. Therefore, this hypothesis is inadequate. The direct contact hypothesis. There are several facts this hypothesis cannot account for. Therefore, this hypothesis is inadequate. The gas diffusion hypothesis. There are several facts this hypothesis cannot account for. Therefore, this hypothesis is inadequate. The Volkringer method hypothesis. There are several facts this hypothesis cannot account for. Therefore, this hypothesis is inadequate. The singlet oxygen theory hypothesis. There are several facts this hypothesis cannot account for. Therefore, this hypothesis is inadequate. The bacterial or fungal theory hypothesis. There are several facts this hypothesis cannot account for. Therefore, this hypothesis is inadequate. The electrostatic theories hypothesis. There are several facts this hypothesis cannot account for. Therefore, this for. Therefore, this hypothesis is inadequate. The radiation theory by Mark Antonassi is the only explanation that can account for all facts. Therefore, this hypothesis should be selected. The original chemist of the Shroud, Raymond Rogers, revised his viewpoint on the Shroud of Turin and said, quote, I am forced to conclude that the image was formed by a burst of radiant energy light, if you like." End of quote. The Shroud of Turin is authentic. 